Hi guys, it's Connie here. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Um, welcome to my what's in my hospital bag video. Um, and in my case, if this is not a hospital bag, it is a hospital suitcase. Um, this is my husband's, um, I guess, little carry-on suitcase that he used to travel with. Um, it's a very beat up old kind of sturdy suitcase by Brookstone and I thought this was the perfect size and just something that I thought would be really easy for me to just you know grab and go. Um, I did think about getting a really cute sort of duffel bag but just thinking about all the stuff that was going to go in it and then having to lug that on my shoulder just wasn't an appealing idea for me. So I decided to go with this small suitcase and I like the ha fact that it has hand this handle and it has wheels on the bottom so I could just wheel it around and there won't be any strain on my shoulder and I like the fact that I can open it up and see everything all at once. So that's awesome too. Um, so without any further delay, I want to get into this video because it might be a little bit of a long one. I'm going to just open this up. Now, I probably am a little bit overpacked being a first time mom. I've never been pregnant. I've never gone to the hospital to give birth or anything like that. Um, so, you know, I'm probably a little bit overpacked, but I would rather be a little bit overpacked than underpacked. Um, there's nothing worse than the feeling of being somewhere and feeling like, gosh, I should have brought that. Like, I hate that feeling. So, um, I'm kind of compensating for it by being a little bit overpacked. Um, I did a lot of research um, on what to pack for the hospital and I think I got most of the essentials down. I'm bringing this because this could possibly be my going home outfit um, and it's just a little sweat pants suit that my husband bought for me when we went to Hawaii for our honeymoon. Um, it's just these really comfortable Hawaii red sweatpants. Since I am giving birth in the winter time, I wanted to make sure I brought warm fairly warm and cozy clothes. So with this sweat pant, um, there's a really cute little hooded um, little top, that zipper top that goes with it. So this is like um, just really comfortable. I may go home in this. Um, that's just one option. Um, my other going home is going to be possibly these cranberry um, maternity leggings that I got um, at where did I get this oh I think I got this at motherhood um, I just love 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 these leggings I bought two and this is the one in cranberry and with this I am thinking of just wearing a really comfortable long sleeve um, just a long sleeve cotton top with this and with that um, this gray cardigan um, that I got at Loft and it's just a it's got like a little tie thing um, in the back and you can tie it in the front so um, I love this because it's really really warm also just in case I'm bringing um, another long sleeve comfortable gray um, cotton shirt um, I don't know if I'm really going to use this or wear this, but just an extra shirt. I don't know how long I'm going to be expected to stay at the hospital, whether, you know, it's going to be like a two or three night stay because, you know, if I end up having a C-section or something like that, then obviously I'm going to stay a little bit longer. So, um, then I also have, I'm also bringing my, uh, black maternity um, yoga pants and I mentioned this in my maternity haul way back when um, and these are by Old Navy and I just I love how it's it's sort of like fitted um, and and just really comfortable so um, this is just something that I may lounge around in um, with one of the long sleeve tops at the hospital after I give birth um, they also suggested to bring some PJs, some pajamas, so um, I like this one. Um, my mom bought this for me 
recently. Um, this is like a, a really, really soft, warm, um, I guess it's like polyester because polyester tends to retain heat and it's just, I just know that hospitals tend to get so cold and I get cold really easily. So this, this pajama set will just really be nice to lounge around in as well. So this is just another option and it comes with um, some pants. Um, I'm also bringing a really warm um, robe. This is a fleece robe by Ralph Lauren. And also my mom got this for me as well. Um, I just hate being cold so um, a lot of the clothes that I am bringing are going to be very cozy and warm. So um, yeah, this will be really nice to just wear around the hospital, um, especially over my gown if I'm like laboring. I don't plan to get, you know, buy my own gown and stuff like that. I'm okay with the hospital's gown. Um, so when I have to go to the bathroom or anything like that, or walk up and down the halls, um, I don't know, I, it'd be nice to have a warm, cozy robe over myself. I'm also bringing um, three pairs of underwears that I don't care about too much. And I don't really wear, um, this is just for afterwards. The hospital does provide, I believe, like disposable mesh underwears but I don't know how comfortable those are gonna be. I don't know how well they're gonna fit me. So just in case, I'm bringing some kind of like, you know, granny panties and also some nice fitting like boy short type underwears from Calvin Klein that I never wear because they tend to ride up. So I think this will be nice to like keep like, you know, like thicker pads in place and stuff like that. So three pairs of underwear that I don't care about um, I also got a sleeping slash nursing bra. Um, this was a two pack by Target and um, it just was really comfortable. I am a size small because um, my breasts did not grow that much. Like during the pregnancy, they grew one cup size. And after I give birth, I'm expecting to go up another cup size. Like that's just an estimate. A lot of women won't buy nursing bras until after they have given birth. However, I can kind of get a feeling of what size I'm gonna be. So um, based on that, I just got this and it's just a size small because I'm pretty petite. Um, and I also bought a couple of nursing tanks, but I'm only bringing one. So one nursing sleeping bra and one nursing tank. Also, this is from Target. Um, the brand is Gilligan and O'Malley and oh I forgot to tell you what this is this is um, is it the same thing and this is also Gilligan and O'Malley I'm sure there's a lot of other nursing bras and tanks that are way nicer than this but for me I was like you know what this will just do the job and you know the price is pretty reasonable so that's why I got these at Target I'm also bringing a pair of super warm fuzzy socks um, and also just like a thinner pair of you know cotton socks um, I may interchange be you know between the two depending on how cold my feet are and also bringing some slippers I got these at the Japanese dollar store um, they're just really comfortable and I think they would be nice too walk around in. Um, haven't used them so they're clean so I just stuck them in there. And I'm also bringing, I heard that like hospital towels are not very good or they're kind of rough or whatever so I'm just bringing a thin um, towel for myself. This I love this towel because it's very absorbent but it's thin so I could use this like you know for my whole body as well as you know for it, it'll dry my whole body and um, I'm not too too into like super huge thick towels because they only just take up space. So this is going to work perfectly for me. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to take a shower um, at the hospital. 
Um, it depends on how long I'm gonna stay or expect it to stay. So just in case I do end up taking a shower there, I just wanted to have my own towel. And same goes for the face. Like I have this just really small little pink face towel as well. This is my toiletry bag and um, I pretty much just have, I won't go through everything, just facial cleanser, um, some makeup remover. I do have a little sample packet of shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in conditioner. Um, if I do take a shower, I think I'll only take one probably. I have some eye cream. I have my daily facial moisturizer. This one is Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. I've got the um, Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion for my body. And I have some night cream. I have shower gel. I have like this loofah. <laughs> it's a green. This is like an Asian style loofah. You just, it's really cool. It's it's not like those big poofy loofahs that take up space, but um, this one's new and you just put your hand in this little slot and it kind of acts as like a nice loofah exfoliator. So I'm bringing this as well. I'm bringing my Michael Todd Citrus Hydrating Mist Spray. I use this as like a toner to just sort of add some um, moisture into my face before I apply uh, lotions and creams and stuff like that and it's just nice to just kind of spritz your face to refresh yourself as well I have here some lip balm really really important well that's what I've been told <laughs> and just in case I'm bringing my um, rose hip plus organic rose hip oil I just love this as a moisturizer for my face. Um, I usually use this as a serum before I put any cream on. So, yeah, so basically, oh, and also a hair tie to keep my hair back if I need to. And also a hair clip in case I wanna clip it back. Oh, and I have this little sample packet of facial cotton and a couple of Q-tip swabs. Of course, I've got my toothpaste, my a new toothbrush in here, some mouthwash, and there's some floss in here because it was just in there. <laughs> I didn't bother to take it out. I'm also bringing some makeup because um, I love makeup and I feel like I have to have my makeup in order for me to feel okay. <laughs> um, especially if we're gonna take some pictures and stuff like that. I just want to look a little refreshed, you know. So um, I also have some makeup in here. Um, and I know this is a big bag, but it just, I'm just putting in all the stuff that I couldn't really fit in my regular toiletry bag. So I've got some tissue, I've got some makeup wipes, just in case I wanna refresh myself. Um, I have my IT Cosmetics CC, yeah, CC cream. I've got Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, just to, you know, mattify my face after I apply my CC cream. Um, I've got a blush uh, by Tarte. I've got some, um, I have an espresso colored eyeliner by Maybelline. This is the unstoppable line. I have an eyelash curler. I've got some concealer and um, a really pretty pink neutral lipstick. Um, this one is the Clinique Nude Pop. Um, I think these are called Color Pop or something like that. I love these. Um, so I'm bringing this. Also a Pixie Natural Brow Duo. So it's got the color on one end or the pencil part and then a little brow gel on the other end. I love this. It makes putting your you know, creating your eyebrows on so easy and fast. And I just have a few extra Q-tips, a makeup sponge, and some facial cotton in a little snack, plastic snack bag. So that's it for the makeup. And in this little bag, I have some extras. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but I have some always overnight 
um, pads. I have an eye mask. This is a really cute one. Um, it's really comfortable. I also have some earplugs. Um, just because I think that it's going to be kind of noisy and if I want to try to sleep or something, if I can sleep, um, I want to make sure that I block out all the noise because I'm a really light sleeper. And um, in this little extras bag, I have some hard candies as well. These are from the Japanese dollar store. They are lemon flavored like hard candy and ginger flavored hard candy. And I heard that hard candy is nice to have when you're laboring or something like that. I don't know, because um, sometimes you can get really, really nauseous. And also I've got some travel, um, some travel essential oils. So this came in a package. This is called Energy. Um, this is called the travel one. And then this one's called Sweet Dreams. And they have different smells. And I love, love, love aromatherapy and essential oils. So I'm just bringing this just in case I want to distract myself with something that smells good, you know? Like I said, this is my, um, this is my little extras bag and I don't even know if I'm really going to use it because the hospital also does provide, um, you know, really thick maxi pads for after delivery. So I have two hair brushes. They're different kinds. Um, and then also I have my blow dryer, um, which I heard comes in handy when you take a shower. And I know for myself, I need to have a blow dryer after I take a shower. I just have to have one. I never let my hair dry naturally because that would be kind of a scary sight because um, um, I have really frizzy, frizzy, fuzzy hair. So absolutely need that. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna end up taking a shower at the hospital. Um, I may end up taking a shower at least once. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm sorry this was such a long video. It's kind of, it was a little difficult to get through all the items without talking about it a little bit. So that's it for me. Let me know in the comments below if I'm missing anything. Um, I do have baby stuff packed in this diaper bag. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to do a separate video on that too as well. So that's what's in my hospital bag. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. And um, yeah, I can't believe I'm <laughs> my hospital bag is packed and ready to go. We have our car seat installed and it just seems like it could be any day now. I'm 36 weeks pregnant and next week I will be considered full term at 37 weeks. So really this baby can come at any time. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for subscribing and for following me on this pregnancy journey. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.